Hi guys. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Deb. Welcome, and if you're returning, hey, glad to have you. And today I'm here, and I'm going to do my fall and back to school haul. Cricket on you, aren't I? This thing keeps moving because I banged it. Um, there we go. Um, I'm going to do my back to school clothes and my fall haul. I can't get it right. Uh, together. And I'm just going to do these real quickly because I had all this done last week and I forgot to turn the air conditioner off. So now i got to go redo everything. So with time constraints, I was just going to throw these up in the middle of the week, but I decided to just put them together and edit it for next week. And then I have... Anyway, I'm a little bit frustrated, you know, because all this. So I figured it's just best to get it done. Give, allow myself a little bit of time to edit, edit it more properly. Slow down and take things one step at a time. So, here we go. <clears throat> okay, I got this for little Miss Caroline. I don't know if I had this on last week's or not, so, because I put it in with her stuff. So, if I didn't, this was like $3. And, yeah, you know, this is one of them skip things that, you know, you put it around your ankle and then you skip over this. We used to do it when we was kids. I love that thing. <laughs> Every time they bring them back, they have totally screwed them up. So I'm going to go through these clothes and real quick here, I got this one and I must have ordered the wrong size. So I'm going to give it to Lily down the street because it's too little for Caroline. And I don't even know if it'll fit Lily, honestly, but I'm, I know what I'll do with that. I'll give that to Poppy for her birthday. <laughs> and then... I got one of two of these and I got those for the babies that got birthdays this week and then I'm just going to get them a little toy to go with it. So there's that. Those were very cheap too. And I got these shorts. These shorts were like five bucks and their team colors are brown and orange. So I got that for Chase. And then I got this for Chase, which I thought he could wear with that. He may wear it. He may not. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. If he doesn't, well, the price you pay for him is cheap enough. They can wear them outside to play. You know, when we were kids, we had to wear dress clothes to school. We weren't even allowed to wear jeans. And until third grade, it was dresses only. So, we had to come home and change. But my son, I never did... We never did that because he was so hard on clothes anyway, it didn't matter. And so I just figure even if he goes out and plays in it, I don't care. And I got him this one. And I thought he'd like that too. But you never know. You know how it goes. Little boys one minute they'll say, Oh, that's so cool. You know, you think that's cool? You wouldn't think it. And then the next minute, you see something, you're thinking, he'll think that's cool. And he's like, that's stupid. <laughs> but at least they're polite enough they ain't going to say it to my face. <laughs> and then I got this one for Caroline. And it's a little school dress. And this was only like 3 or $4. You know, there's... And that's with free shipping. So, you can't... You know... There's no need in sending your kid to school in rags. There's no need in, you know. Sorry, but at least leave them clean. And then I got her this one, too. This little dress. I thought it was cute, too. But these dresses were really cheap. They were like between 3 and $5. And then I got her this little shirt. And I thought she could wear that with a pair of jeans or something. And this came in both boys and girls sizes. So like if you wanted to get your kids' pictures together, they would have the same outfit. I thought it was kind of cute. And then also, this is 
the, the other bog bag. And I got that for my grandson's mother for Christmas. But I think she's going to be able to use it now more than she will at Christmas. Because, you know, she's the teen mom and stuff. So I thought I would just go ahead and give it to her and take the kids' stuff over in it. Now, this was one of my rip-offs. And I have a couple in this one, believe it or not. But this, it does light up. But I paid more more for this than it was worth. I could have got it very, a whole lot cheaper at, at Dollar Tree. And I don't remember what I paid for. I think this is one of the fails. And then I have another one that was a fail. And I was like... And honestly, they were probably my fault. Because I probably didn't really read. Because I tend to get myself in a little bit of a hurry sometimes. Go in there. Where's it go? I put it in the wrong place. Oh, it has different modes. I guess I'm supposed to be excited about that. I was going to put this little paper back in it so it didn't waste the battery. But I can't find where it goes. That's where the wire goes. I think it goes right here. It's on the back side. So there's that. But that was a ripoff. I admit. It was a ripoff. And then I got this one, which I thought was cute. Now, this comes with this part off of it, so you can do it either way. But I should, you know, I did it the old way, but they have them burnt for you to stick them through there. So you can, and wrapped in plastic, make it easy to stick through there. And this is, this is thicker than what you get at Dollar Tree. I noticed that there is no bend to it at all. So I thought, well, I can that'll put a little bit of fall in my kitchen and Halloween and stuff. And then I got this. I wanted this more for the wheel than I did for the act. The wheel and the sunflowers. This part I will probably get rid of and put a different bow on it. And then I'll probably dry brush white over top of this and it kind of takes it back and makes it look a little bit more realistic. But I thought it was cute. And I thought, you know, for very little money I could really make that look nice and expensive. And eventually I will show you if I get it done. But, you know... So there you go. Then I got this one too. And this is either a wreath or a candle ring, whichever. And it both these all need fluff. You know, they all need pulled out and you know how it goes. But for very little money, you could probably make them look really expensive. But I'm probably going to use this one more as a candle ring because I have a Lazy Susan kit in one of my other craft things and I thought I could put that in there and put my and then I'll bring a little bit of fall to my kitchen or I don't know I don't, might take it apart and use all the parts we never know with me and then I got this one and this was I believe it was like two dollars and it has the base to it so you can either Use it like in a wreath or whatever, or you can stand it like this, which I'll probably stand it, but I just thought it was cute. And this is probably the one I'll put on my door, but I don't know because I got the woman next door on this side runs daycare, and then the people on this side have three little ones. So I don't know if, if this is, I popped it, I don't know if this is too scary or not. This is what it looks like. Now, all the, you know, from shipping all this is flattened out and have to be puffed. And, you you know, if I put it on my door and it's not big enough, well, I can just add another ring around it. Because on the back, it's just felt. They don't, it doesn't have a wire in it. Like, like a lot of them. So, it's just a big piece of felt. So, I can very easily just go through here and make this bigger. So, go to, you know, dollar... Dollar Tree and get a few of their things of this mesh if, if I can't put but you, with some with a little bit of time See this mesh has wires in it. So with a little bit of time you could just pull this out Because all they are is basically folded into tubes. I Don't do mine that way, but because I do mine the way I do mine makes them fuller quicker with less stuff than doing the tube tube roll up thing I just take it and wad it much quicker much but that's that I think it looks really cute 
but I don't know. If, let me know. What do you think? Do you think it's too scary for little kids? Because, I mean, they're preschool age, so I don't know. Kind of makes me wonder. And then I also got these, and I had these on my last one. And these are incense burners. And I, got, I was going to get them for my son, but I don't know. I might just use them around my house. But I thought, well, they are kind of Halloween fall, so I'll show them again. So, that's my Halloween fall haul, y'all. <laughs> hey, if you like what you see here, hey, we do all kinds of unboxings. We do Vince hauls, Timu hauls, subscription boxes, mystery boxes. We do all kinds of unboxings. So, hey, if you like what you see, come on back. We'd love to have you. Bye.